15 to 14. That scores a double-edged sword for Woodland Warriors fans. On one hand, Woodland did beat Eastbrook 15-14 last year to win semi-state. On the other, they lost 15 to 14 the next week against Southridge, and that was in the 2A state title game. A return to Lucas Oil Stadium is the goal this fall. Here's your Highlight Zone preview of the Woodland Warriors. Yes, losing the state championship game by one point is indeed a bummer. However, here's some positive news for those Woodland fans. Sherwood Haydock has turned around a once down and out program and gone 35 and 5 over the last three seasons. And adding to that recent legacy may rest on the shoulders of a talented defense. Well, defensively, we returned five of our inside seven and. We had probably the best defense in 2A football last year, or real close to it. So we're expecting, we have two All-Staters in that bunch coming back. So we're expecting to be very good on defense. Our, our question mark is the secondary. So we have to be able to, um, you know, stop the pass and let's see what happens. It's been good. We've been working a lot with the JV, trying to get them ready for the first couple games. We want to take it one step at a time and make sure that the JV players step up and fill the holes and then just go from there. We're very physical. We, that's, uh, that's our thing. We like to be physical and we're not scared to hold back. Uh, to prepare, prepare ourselves for the season, I say we're going to have to uh, stick together as a team and just forget all the negativity that people are saying. We just have to prove them wrong. While the season for Woodland ended at Lucas Oil Stadium, the season for two of their top players ended right here at the Wayne TV studio with the Fab 15 taping. Justin Durkis, the quarterback, and running back Jack Rhodes, they were both Fab 15 selections, and they were both seniors, meaning they're not back this coming season. Also offensively, the Woodland Warriors graduated Alon Howard, Amarion Hicks, Donald Garant, and Aaron Hahn, just to name a few. That means young quarterback Ben Reedy takes over an offense inexperienced at the skill positions. Ben has spent the last few years, has started every game uh, on the JV, and he's been real good friends with our starting quarterback, so he's absorbed the offense really well and learned it, and he, he's real up uh, up tempo and really one gets gets the ball moving. Very football smart. Man, I'm ready. I'm so excited to play. Uh, I feel like we're ready to go. We just we just want to get back on the field and play some football. This is a lot of pressure, obviously, but Justin taught me a lot. So I'm just hoping to do what he taught me. And you know what he did was pretty good. So maybe I can do it better. You know? Woodland opens the season August 17th on the road against the Leo Lions. He goes by Bennett now instead of just Ben. That